<sighs> I'm so tired. <laughs> but I'm so excited, so it doesn't matter. Hey, what is up, you guys? It is Tyler. Welcome back. Back, back to the Tyler Williams channel. And it is currently January 1st, uh, 6 a.m. I am a few hours away from my flight to Japan. Uh, this is going to be the first video of the vlog I'm going to be doing. Uh, my trip to Japan. I'm so excited right now. I just got up a few hours ago. Um, my flight leaves at 9 a.m. I believe. So I'm about to eat something and then I am going to get ready, get dressed, and I'm going to be heading out very soon. All right, guys, so I just got through security. And as I guessed, like, because I flew out on the 31st and, well, not the 31st, but I flew out on the 1st in the morning, there's nobody here. I got through security probably, like, five minutes. Maybe a little bit left. Maybe a little bit more than that. Not too bad, not too bad. So I'm about to head to my terminal because I'm flying to Chicago first and then from Chicago I'm flying to Narita so I'm gonna go find my terminal and then I'm gonna uh report back to you look at how tiny this airplane is as compared to like the frontiers and JetBlue's now mind you I'm flying on United so I'm gonna be like in a different terminal but this one is so small now I'm I'm guessing maybe because it's express maybe it's like a luxury or some type of airplane and that's why it's so small I don't know All right, guys, so I just landed in Chicago, and we are about to be on our way to my terminal, so that way I can go to the airport. Well, I'm already at the airport, I meant to say. I'm on my way to my terminal, so that way I can hop on a flight to Narita. So I'm pretty excited. I'm not excited about the 13-hour flight, but I'm really excited to, you know, going to Tokyo. We're gonna be there in 13 hours. When I land, it'll be 4 p.m. their time, but where I'm from, which I live on Eastern time, I live in Philadelphia, it's going to be like 2 a.m. So, that's really cool. That's not fall. Okay, cut our balance. All right, I'm gonna put my phone down. Currently looking at all the movies that uh, are on this Guys, day. Guys, could you close the doors for me? Yeah. Don't close, please. One of them. Okay. I don't know how to close the doors. Okay, so look at this. Look at this lineup right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! What was that movie? The Big Show was in. What was it called? Knucklehead or something? Let's see if they have. Let's see if they have Knucklehead on this. That'd be awesome. Hey you guys, so I just want to let you guys know I have landed safely at Narita Airport, so I'm really excited. I'm also really tired, so but we're gonna go find our baggage because I'm sure it's floating around here somewhere and then we're gonna go to the rest house. So I just found this place at the airport about the Kabuki gates. And you know, Asuka and Kairi saying they're the Kabuki warriors, so I think it's kinda 
kind of have to come in here. Does the hand gestures remind you guys of anybody? All right, guys. So I'm outside now. I am at the still at the still at the airport, but um, now I'm outside waiting for my airport bus to get here so that way I can go to the Narita Rest House. And is this it? This is it. Never mind. Look at the vending machines. All right, guys. So after two hours of trying to make it over to my hotel room, I finally get in here, and I mean, like. It's it's okay. I mean, I'm not staying here for like my entire stay. This is just for today. I'm in Narita today. So like that little closet space right here. Going to the bathroom. Oh shit. oh shit, it's elevated. Oh my God. Yeah, look at this. I did not see this. I, you almost took an L on camera. That would have been so embarrassing. Anyway, so this is the bathroom. As you can see, there's not really... What the... What really is... I gave it to pay for. I paid like what, seventy one dollars for this photo, so pretty cheap, pretty low rent. Honestly, truly, really if I had the choice, I wouldn't sleep on these beds. But um, I forgot to grab my uh, little pouch thing, so I guess I am. Or at least I'll sleep on top of them because I don't know if I'm gonna get underneath these sheets. Here's my view. You can see the the streets of Narita from here, at least. The streets coming out of the airport terminal because I'm technically still at the Noria Airport. I figured my plan would be that I would stop here since I get off of Noria Airport after like a basically a 16 hour travel day. I would stop here and you know just crash. Then next day go to my uh, capsule hotel I'm supposed to be at. And then you know my trip starts. My trip actually starts today. I'm actually in Tokyo, but. Not too confused about this place I'm staying in, but I want to make the most of it. I mean, it's like 6 o'clock right now. I don't really plan on going anywhere. I'm really going to be in this room for the entire day. Like I said, my trip starts tomorrow. That's how I see it. But that was really my day. Like, just really not much to talk about or do. I mean, I guess I could really talk about, like, my my uh, day getting here. So, um, I flew to Chicago, which not too bad. I mean, it was just a flight to Chicago. But then I went from Chicago to Narita. And that was my first ever, like, 14-hour flight. Oh, my God. I thought I was going to die. Like, it was just... Mm, like, it was... It just... It, it felt every bit of 14 hours on that flight. It was ridiculous. And, you know, the one thing I will say that when you touch down, it's a sigh of relief. Like, oh, my God. I finally get to get off this flight. But when you're on there for that long period of time and you just... I keep looking around this hotel room like this is so dead. Like, <laughs> I'm so mad at myself. Like, I could have really done better research on this whole time. I'm so mad that I got this hotel room. Like, ugh, I don't want to touch anything. But oh well, I'm gonna stay here. I'm gonna crash. I'm gonna unload, and I guess kind of sort of try to sleep. But yeah, that's really today's vlog. I got more stuff coming tomorrow. So. See you guys there. <laughs> hey, what is up you guys? It is Tyler. Welcome back to the Tyler Lloyd channel. And I am up at like 6 a.m. in the morning. Uh, and let me just say, uh, I stayed at a very, very cheap rest house in Narita. Like literally I'm still connected to the airport. Very uncomfortable the entire night. And I barely got like any sleep, which, you know, I probably should be like dead like a zombie considering I was on a flight for so long. But I figure, you know what, if I'm not going to sleep, I might as well just stay up. So that way I could go see the sunrise, the, the sunrise of the new year, you know what I mean? So this is literally the best I can do at a sunrise right now, because I don't got much of a better sight than where I'm at right now. Now, I plan to go to like a mountaintop and try to watch the sunrise some point while I'm in Japan. But I figure, you know, I'm awake, so I might as well just come here and try to watch it, which is, I mean, it's okay. Uh, but... It's really early in the morning. I'm actually probably going to go back to my hotel, pack up, and get ready to head out because I just don't want to stay in that place anymore. I made it back to my uh, hotel now. And uh, I mean, I've noticed this yesterday, but the one thing I do notice 
about Japan is that the people here are so reserved and so quiet. Like, you go to America and like, I'm probably the only person talking all out right now outside. And like, people are just so fucking loud. I mean, like, it's crazy. I mean, I've been to Canada three or four times and each time I've been there, I'm always so amazed by just how quiet people are. And I think that's just our culture is that we are just so boisterous and so, you know, excited or heated up or whatever to just talk to people that we just don't really care about our surroundings and we just start talking out loud. Like when I was on a bus, on a shuttle bus yesterday, no one was talking to each other. Like no one said anything. And I got a call from my mom and I'm like, I'm not going to answer the call and be talking on the phone because it just seems kind of rude. That's an American thing to do. I'm like, so we took a hotel and talk to her. So uh, the other thing is that the streets here streets in japan really 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 clean like it seems like no one drops their trash everyone seems to want to keep areas very precise and impeccable I, I love it here i really do i've only been here for like you know not even a whole day and i haven't even been to where i wanted to go yet and i already like it so that's a good thing All right, guys, so I'm about to head out, so I'm kind of sort of dressed up. You guys see the, the bone, so you guys see going on. I got the bug club hoodie going on, so that way any wrestling fans see me, they'll be like, oh my God, you're going to wrestle? And they'll be like, yeah, I'm going to wrestle. Something like that, you know. There's some there's some guys jeans here. I, I actually was sitting next to, to um, on the, tr on the uh, plane, and they just so happened to be going to wrestle kingdom, so I uh, treated some information with them, so I'm pretty excited about that. We're going to head to Tokyo and get acquainted at our capsule hotel and see where else goes from there. So yeah, see you guys later. All right, guys, so I am finally here in Tokyo Dome City. I am, it is unreal that I'm actually here in Tokyo Dome. Um, I'm about to head up to the Tokyo Dome just to get a visual. Now, I'm not going to be at Tokyo Dome until tomorrow, of course, because tomorrow's January 4th. It's the first day of Wrestle Kingdom, but it is insane. I'm actually looking at it right now, like real time. I'm actually here. I'm about to go up there. Not gonna lie, at my first DDT show, 
I really don't know who most of these people are, if not all of these people. I do know Chris Brooks is all the way back there. I know who he is. Anybody else? Not so much. I'll figure him out today, though. This is so cool. Look at that. guys so i'm back out here as you can see the tokyo is right behind me and i'm about to turn in the cork and hall show is still going on as i speak but like jet lag is really hitting me right now now mind you guys i've traveled all the way to japan on january 1st and then i got here on january 2nd and when i got here on january 2nd i got to this uh rest house at narita airport and it was so dingy and I just was so uncomfortable I couldn't sleep so I barely slept if really at all that night I came all the way here still January 3rd and I haven't really slept like at all since like December 31st that was really the last time I got a good night's sleep so my body's like I was literally standing up and just like like falling over and drifting off the entire the entire time I'm like yeah I can't do this I gotta I gotta go, I gotta sleep. My body's asking for it. Got the Tokido in the background, I'm so excited guys. I'm gonna be there tomorrow, I can't wait. So I'm gonna go get a good night's rest because I don't think I can really take standing up anymore or doing anything anymore. And then tomorrow I'm gonna rejuvenate and I'm going to head out to the KFC Arena for Stardom Wrestle Cinderella and then back to the Tokyo Dome for Wrestle Kingdom. And yeah, that was basically my day. I will see you all tomorrow. Peace out, guys. Bye.